welcome to B Road Russia. Now, when I'm traveling around the countryside, I often go to these purpose-built villages, villages that were purposely built to house the people that worked in the old Soviet collective farms. Obviously, the collective farms are now long gone, but I really love watching what the residents of those places do just to kind of brighten up the place. It kind of reminds me of like a seaside town in the UK, all these kind of squirky little things that they do, that they put in their gardens, on their houses, just to make it kind of look prettier and nicer. So today we're gonna to drive around some purpose-built Soviet settlements and check out some of these squirky, interesting kind of like add-ons that people have done to make their place look nice. I really love when I'm just driving down the road in Russia on the road trip and I see just things like this. It's so cool that the, the people have gone to the effort to make these things in the garden. The owner just spotted me and he said, did it make you happy? You know, and I was like, yeah, well done, well done. And uh, this, I'm not gonna go too far because it's someone's obviously garden. But look, they've got um, a nice bench here where I guess they sit in the evenings and chill out. Check out this house here. Don't know if it's a house or what. I've asked some local kids what it is and they're like, they're not sure either. This would have once been the shop. It's got so much character, hasn't it? Now there's a new shop over here, but it doesn't look anywhere near as good, does it? Nothing what's going on on the notice board. Over here it says Producti, which just basically means like products. It's the name of a shop. It's amazing when you're driving down like a, a B road, not even like a main road, but a B road, and you just take a turning. You think, oh, some houses there, let's take a turning. Got no idea what's there, and it leads to places like this. This, I'm guessing, is either the school or like the kind of like town hall kind of thing. But there's no kids here now because all the kids have broken up already for holiday. Three months holiday they have in Russia, the kids. And you can see the toadstool theme has continued here as well. I want to explain a little bit about the difference between the types of villages in Russia because in the UK we have villages, we have towns and cities, right? In Russia you have towns and cities but you have three types of villages. You have a bog standard village with village type houses. In the Soviet Union there would have been maybe some sort of collective farm there, right? Then you have Silo. Now Silo is like a village but it has a church so it's bigger than a village. But it's still a village but it's a big village. Then you have Postyolok. Postyolok is usually bigger than Silo and a village, it's like a big village where they might have some industry there, like factory and stuff like that. And they'll have like the headquarters of the, maybe there'll be like 10 Silo or villages and there'll be one main Pasyolok, which is the kind of like the, the daddy of the, all the other villages and have the administrative center and stuff like that there. We can see they're growing their own vegetables. I can hear some chickens as well. Oh, check out that old phone. Or oh, is it electricity? It's electricity, isn't it? That electricity meter looks like something from a Chernobyl film or something, doesn't it? Apparently these were built in 1986 and the local resident said you don't even want to dare go down into the cellar because you'll be shocked at what you see. How amazing is this? And then the next door neighbour has done this. Wow. That's incredible, isn't it? Is that Snoopy at the end? I think it's Snoopy, isn't it? And then opposite, we've got a guy with a star and a tank. And just here we've got a kid's play area next to the house. So they've put this like zebra crossing here. It's absolutely incredible. Now I'm not gonna film the kids, so I've got to film from the side. But look at this. Wow, with a zebra crossing so that the kids don't get hit by cars, that's incredible. 
And here's the playground look that the kids are playing on. It's pretty crazy because all the kids want to be in the videos. They're like, yeah, can I be in the video? Film me, film me. I'm like, you can't. You can't be in the video because your parents haven't given permission and I'm not allowed, right? Yeah, kind of a pretty awkward situation because they're all like, film me, film me, film me, film me. I'm like, no, we can't do this. Okay, your parents aren't here. I'm not going to be the guy standing around filming kids. Surely there can't be anyone living in here. I'm guessing, well, it hasn't even got a handle. It's not every day you see something like this, is it, on the road? Wow! What we've got? Is that a frog down there? Ay, 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 ay. Is this just the weirdest place? Just off the main road and... Yeah, it's a bit crazy, isn't it? There's essentially five streets here. They've painted the lamppost with the Russian flag colours. Is we need to pass the Russian Is this? What is this? Yes, pass Oleg. Yes, pass the Yezdol Nima. Is Alexander Vladimir. Да, почему да люди здесь живут? Что почему вот? Школа есть. А школа? Ну да. А они это место строили, потому что здесь был совхоз или что-то, да? Или а до сих пор есть? Нет, да? А. Здесь типа небольшая такая вот овец разводят, ну типа сербачки. Вообще работы нет. Там есть это самое швейка. А швейка есть, да? Да. Швейная фабрика. Понятно. Понятно. А вы здесь давно? Нет. А, да? Я приезжаю. А, понятно. Не понятно. А здесь есть это э, дом культуры? Да. Есть, да? да. Здравствуйте. А вы, а вы здесь давно живете, да? Очень давно. Да? А скажите, как изменился место за, за время, когда вы здесь жили? Раньше было совхоз, да? Да, раньше был совхоз. Да. Ну, жизнь, хорошо здесь тихо, конечно, жить, да? Ой, здесь вообще красота лучше, да. чем в городе. Намного лучше, да. спокойно. Здесь все всех знают. Да. Здесь со всеми поговорить ага. можно. А раньше в Советском Союзе были здесь лучше или... Лучше, конечно. Лучше, да? Намного лучше. Понятно. А что у вас случилось? Заболела она, упала. Ой, блин. Нет, у нас здесь хорошо, конечно. Да. Хорошо. И вот, особенно вот летом, вот, вообще прекрасно. Грибы рядом, ягоды ага. рядом, леса рядом. Ну, и так и до сих пор ест, да? Есть, да. Вот. Ребята, что на речь ходят, рыбу ловить, купаются. Да. Все прекрасно. Супер. Хорошо, очень хорошо. А как, как, как называется место? У нас вообще совхоз металлист, раньше был Чернушки а. назывался. А. Раньше это было давно. А металлист значит чем-то с металлом, да? Что-то работает, да? Или просто? А, да? А, ладно. Так, ладно. У нас очень хорошо. Молодежи много. Да. Ребятишек много, клуб работает, прекрасно. Хорошо. Школа. Отлично. Школа, садик. Прекрасно Отлично. У нас. Вообще хорошо. Я очень рад слушать. Ладно, давайте. До свидания. Would you like to live here? Look at the fence, how they've really gone out of the way to make it nice, right? But the houses look like they, well, have lasted longer than they should do. Let's do a sweet Where is this Davno Jivyote? Where is this Davno Jivyote? Davno, da? And we live here when the Sovhoz robot How come? Da? And you ask me, how did it happen? The main да. А в жизни хорошо было, да? Совсем так, другое, говорит. Так, же, так же, да? I think I found the house of culture. Let's take a look. It's probably closed now. It's already like 6:30 in the evening. Here we are. It's got a padlock on it. Oh dear. Hang on, hang on. It really feels like I've gone back in time here. Larder, it seems to be the car of choice and it's well, it's like a different planet. Здравствуйте. Как дела у вас? 
почему? Сто рублей надо. Здравствуйте. Сейчас найду вас сто рублей. Серьезно? Да, даже пятьсот даю. Пятьсот много. Ну, у меня нет сто, у меня только пятьсот. Можно сходить в магазин? Нет, разменять? зачем? Пятьсот оставить вас. Сидеть. Это много. Нет, немного. Все Правда? хорошо. Да, конечно. Думаете? Конечно. Спасибо все. Пожалуйста. Дай Бог вам здоровья. Спасибо. Вас и тоже. И дня хорошего. So this place is called Metalist. And I asked them, why is it called Metalist? Is there a, a, a factory called Metalist? And they were like, yeah, it's a factory called Metalist. I said, okay, so did they make, make metal? They're like, no. So I don't know why it's called Metalist, but that's the name. This building looks uh, well, different to the others. Perhaps it's a school. They did say there's a school here. Wow, it's not a school. Look, it says a library. So this is the library, guys. Wow, I'm guessing the library's in that top there where the nice windows are. <laughs> what a library, eh? Look at this. They've got like bears in the garden and mushrooms. They've gone to a lot of effort to make it nice here, haven't they? Look at that. Incredible. So why does this place exist? Well, places like this were built to house the people that worked in the collective farms and the collective, well, businesses that were once here. But with the Soviet Union ends, so does the collective farm and the people, well, they still live here. In a way, it's just like a village, but everyone lives in these purpose-built apartments. This reminds me of the film Eurotour. Have you seen it? Let's check this out. I'm just driving down this road. And look at this. Incredible. The guy's built a missile. The topple. Wow. Incredible. I'm just driving down the road and I see this sign with a Soviet hammer and sickle. And it's got the company name on there now, but I'm guessing this in the past, I'm guessing this in the past would have been the turning for the army base that must have been here. And I'll show you why in a little minute. Silence. So I wanted to show you something. Look what we have over here. Ah. So look, someone would have sat in here on the phone. So the person sitting in here would have seen maybe some hardware coming down the road, some sort of special, I don't know, unit or something, and they could have phoned ahead and said, yep, yeah, it's gone past this point. We can see in this place as well, loads of these two floor houses. This, I guess, would have been the House of Culture probably, or the Selsky Club. The crows are going crazy. What's going on? Look, it says Sprasnikum, which means like congratulations with the celebration. And it says club, look up there. I wonder what the club is like inside. See that they've just celebrated the day of Russia here. It says, look, 12th of June, day of Russia. What is with the birds? They're going crazy. Askajiti, что за место? Здесь раньше было совхоз, да? Или что, да? Да. А, понятно. Я просто мимо ездил по дороге и думал, вот если это все двухэтажный. А школа это, да, другой, это второе здание, да? Вот за это. Такая огромная школа. Там церковь. А, да? Деревянная. Ладно, пойду погулять. Спасибо. Спасибо. Now I like this kind of bridge. I'd love to have a go in this thing. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at the size of it. It's like a mini army jeep thing. It's like children's size. Just noticed how green the grass is. There's dog shit everywhere. Maybe that's what's making it so green. But it's really green. Yes, Nio. Yes, Nio. Yes, Nio. Sun is so strong. Oh man, can't even look that way. So they say don't look at the sun for too long. Oh, I can't take it any longer. The sun is so strong in this area that we've even got palm trees, look. 
the clock is wrong, definitely. So it's been a long day, not really much to see here. I'm going to head home. If you liked the video, give me a like. If you haven't liked the video, tell me in the comments what you haven't liked. If you've enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments what you've liked and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. So the statistics show that most people who watch these videos on this channel simply scroll to the parts where the girls are. Now unfortunately there weren't any girls on this video, but what I'm going to do is introduce you to my second channel, Sam's Russian Adventures. If you haven't signed up or you're not subscribed over there, the new upload tomorrow will be speaking to Russian girls.